Hey fam, it's Philip, and today I want to show you real quick how to set up a beautiful photography portfolio website for yourself with WordPress. So let's go. So if you're starting a creative business, one of the first things you want to do is get your website in place. And WordPress is great for that. WordPress is amongst the most used content management systems on the web. I read something that more than 30% of all websites on the internet are run by WordPress. So it's definitely a great choice and it's completely free. So without further ado, let's head over to the computer and I'll show you very quick how to set up your portfolio page in order to get your creative business started. In order to publish a website on the internet, you need two things in the first place. And one is a domain name, like the URL of your site where people can find you. And the second thing is a server. Usually both these things are provided by a hosting provider. So you don't have to worry about the technical background. Um, the great thing about WordPress is, is that most hosting providers have an easy setup for WordPress where you just click the button and the system is getting installed. So I won't go into the manual installation of WordPress here. We'll just start with the setup of the already installed WordPress right here. So we're gonna start with putting a title in for the website as it's gonna be a photography portfolio website. We'll just put in photography for the sake of this tutorial. Then we'll create a user with a password and fill in the email address. And that's all we need to do right now. Don't hit that button down there as it will prevent your site from being visible to Google. So once this is done, please log into your website uh, with the just created credentials. And now you're in your WordPress backend. Usually you pick a theme first. So to do this, we'll go to, into appearance and themes. But for this tutorial, we will stick with the default theme, the 2017 one. You can choose whatever other theme you want. You can pay for some really great themes out there. There are lots of resources. But for this tutorial, we'll just stick with this one. There are lots of plugins for WordPress and we will need two special ones to make this tutorial work. The first plugin we'll need is uh, a full width plugin, which is called, wait a second, it's this one here, full width templates. So install this and once it's done, activate it also. The second plugin we'll need is a visual portfolio. So uh, type in visual portfolio, hit enter and it should pop up. That's right, this one here, install it and also activate it. So now that we've installed our plugins, we want to create the page, the actual portfolio page. So we go to pages and then add a new page. And we're going to call this home or my portfolio or whatever. Just hit publish here. So now this is our going to be our main page. To make this our main page, we need to head into the customizer first and change the home page settings to make this a static page. So actually WordPress was developed to have an easy content management system for blogs. Uh, so the default setup is like a blog setup and we want to have a static front page with our portfolio. So we just hit here, a static page and pick the home page. Then we'll go to publish and exit the customizer to edit our page. So what we want to do here is pick the full width template, press update, and then we'll go into the portfolio to set up our portfolio. To do this, we will head to the portfolio layouts and create a portfolio list. As it's gonna be a photography portfolio, we will add images, of course, and hit the plus here and upload our portfolio images. So I've already prepared my images that I wanna to upload to my portfolio. Please make sure that the images aren't too big. WordPress will compress them down a little bit, but to make sure that your site performs very well, keep the file size maybe at about one megabyte maximum. So I'll upload these just by dragging and dropping them in here. And once they're uploaded, I will just hit use this image. So once you've finished uploading all the images that you wanna put into your portfolio, make sure they're all selected and hit the use this images button and you'll see that they'll pop up in the layout here and you'll see a preview immediately. So I like the tiled one. Um, you can choose different layouts here. I like the three by three. Um, what I want to do is reduce the gap. I want no space in between these images. And what I want to do also is 
increase the number of items per page to nine. So I have nine on the first page and I'll hit publish then. So this is now setting up our portfolio. What we need to do is insert this portfolio into our homepage. So we'll go back to the pages and edit the earlier created homepage. So what we need to do here only is hit this little button here, the visual portfolio button and insert our portfolio ID. So um, once we update this and go to our site, we should see a beautiful layout of images right here. And once we click the load more button, there will be more images displayed. So we're good to go. We still need to get rid of this title image here. So what we want to do is head back into the customizer and go to header media, hide the image and also added the site identity to whatever you want to call it. I'm going with photography by Philip Kosicki and hit publish. So this is our main portfolio page. You can reorder all these images in the portfolio plugin. That's what this layout here is for. Go back into this and reorder all these images. So I like this one the most. So I'll put this up front to make this a little more even in color and hit update. So now I, I am pretty happy with the portfolio layout. Um, I would at least add one more page to your site that is a little bit about you and your contact information. So people that like your work can hit you up and maybe you can get some jobs from your newly created website. So to do this, we'll create another page. Just go over to pages, add new and maybe call this about. We'll go with again, a full width template and just add a little image of yourself. Again, just drag and drop it in, make it medium size centered and maybe write a few sentences about you. So then put your mail address with the link. So you'll just select this and make it a mail address and also put your phone number. So insert this with a tell and the number and people will be able to click your number to call you immediately. So we'll hit publish and also have a look at this side. As you see, there's no navigation yet, so we have to fix that first. So let's head back into the settings and change that by going into the menus and then creating a new menu, calling it navigation or whatever you want to call it. And then adding the about page to your menu save the menu and make sure that it's displayed in the top position. So let's refresh our site and there we go. We have the navigation that's being displayed. So let's head over to the about page and look what we've created. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's pretty much it. You're good to go with your portfolio website. Uh, remember to put a legal notice on there and everything that's required in your country or in your region. So that's pretty much it. If you followed along the tutorial, you now have a basic portfolio page for people to see your work and you can work on improving that and building it up much more later. So if you watched the video and thought, well, I don't have that many great images to upload to my portfolio page. I don't have a portfolio yet. I got you. I was in the same place a few years ago and I will make a separate video about that, how to create a portfolio, how to get clients or at least projects to build a portfolio and we'll talk about that in a different video. So if this video was helpful to you, if it helps you build your own portfolio page, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please leave down a comment linking up to your new page. Hit the like button, it would mean the world to me. And if you like this video and want to know more about building a creative business and like my style of videos, I would be super pumped if you hit the subscribe button and to see you back in the next video. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one and have a great day. Bye-bye.